quality. The house is just about complete. We're having the final electrical items put in. Um, the home should be switched on soon and we'll begin a period of data monitoring so that we can um, really find out how the house is performing, uh, which is great because we'll get some of the winter period as well. The official opening for the 10 star house when we start opening it to the public and um, you can talk to our partners and things uh, in the meantime we will be taking some private tours through um, in the interim but um, stay tuned for more information um, on this house which should change the landscape of Australian um, sustainable built environment and really push us to the next level. Okay, so out the front of this house we um, can see that we have a very large fin um, on our western window. Um, the reason we've done that is to um, occlude the western sun in summer. Uh, we also have a blind. The blind on the outside comes down, it's automated, um, so covering that western window so we still have visibility. But the visibility is controlled so that um, the occupant can um, determine their own thermal comfort essentially from that. Uh, additional daylighting that might, might come in. Uh, I know for myself I suffer um, from headaches from a lot of glare so um, personally I would have it down quite a lot of the time um, but it does give that option and as you can see just up in the little recess up uh, behind the cladding there is actually the helio screen blind um, concealed up inside of the timber cladding. Um, all of the timber cladding that we have on the house um, has been sourced sustainably and has a certification. Um, on the outside of the building here, um, the metal product is the Max Line Profile, supplied by Blue Scope Steel and then was rolled by Revolution Roofing. Um, they both worked um, to supply the roof as well. Um, it's important to note that we've got a lot of partners on this project um, and also the house next door. Um, so it's, it's people in the industry putting their money where their mouth is and really trying to change the landscape of sustainable design in Australia. 10 star is obviously the maximum, um, but we're hoping that the performance, we're hoping the performance in this house will be a lot higher because it is an airtight design. Um, it, on its latest blow door test, received 0.63. So in terms of airtightness standards internationally, um, if you look at the passive house standard, it's 0.6 um, carry, so we've met that. Um, I believe 0.64 potentially, um, so we've got 0.63 and um, there's a lot of other inclusions in this house that means that we can actually monitor the data inside of that house. So very fortunate Steve from Smart Automation Designs is in here um, putting in some final touches as well as the power will be going on soon. So. Um, you can see uh, we have a sponsor on the building as well, which is Opnalux Windows. Um, we have thermally broken triple glazed windows throughout uh, Argon Field. And I know one of the questions that we commonly get is about the price of windows and things. We actually found um, when we were going out to the market there were varying different prices, but there are some very reasonable prices out there. Um, some of which do come from overseas, um, that's inevitable because there's not a market for it yet in South Australia or Australia. But hopefully in the coming um, years that will be driven down, the more pressure that homeowners put on uh, builders and developers to have a much better construction, healthier construction, and their right to healthier construction. Um, hopefully the, the more we'll have um, opportunity to have better products such as this. So they're a very good um, airtight um, product. Um, also we have an airtight front door which is um, not commonly used but it's a um, thermally broken system so that we, we don't have the thermal bridging through that space. Um, much more airtight. Um, also added benefit of any airtightness is it's also um, acoustically treated essentially very quiet inside you don't get any of this noise from the street when you're inside the house that we have um, the first part that is visibly seen of the ABB system uh, which is also what Steve is hooking up today um, is the um, at home system so it's like an intercom system um, so there's quite good security on this house in terms of visibility of people coming in and out 
um, and also that also ties into the use of the house. We've got um, very good monitoring on this house so that we can um, see what the CO2 levels are, the relative humidity, um, the operation when things are being switched on, the energy efficiency, um, energy storage as well. Um, so it's a very visibly um, intuitive and informative building. Um, almost like it's got its own nervous system and um, you know it's, it's speaking to whoever's inside the building. Okay, we've actually got Steve from Smart Automation Design installing um, bits and pieces today. So he's been a partner on the project um, for some time is also working with ABB to have a fully integrated system for us um, that's nice and transparent, um, gets us all the data that's needed. So you can see that you know, in this particular service area that we've got, we've got the Stiebel heat pump, um, we've got battery storage from ABB and the inverter and the electric vehicle charger. Um, and we've also got um, our main um, sort of nervous system of the building that comes through this space through a single penetration in the slab into the inside of the house um, to really ensure that we are not compromising that air tightness on the envelope. This is the master bedroom. We have a robe here as well. So this robe actually um, is actually quite important because we have a service um, area that actually goes through the top that relates to the HRV system. So the heat recovery ventilation unit that's in this house. Um, that is supplied by a steel. So the advantage of that is that we um, can actually recover the heat that's possibly been made inside of the house. Um, and as um, old sort of CO2 filled air is actually taken out of the house, um, which is quite warm, um, it's taken out and then it's mixed with fresh air that is brought into the house. You're not actually losing that heat by bringing in fresh air. So that's a very intelligent system. Um, tried and tested overseas as well. So it actually runs all the way through the top here. So into the master ensuite, we'll stand just in the middle. So again, we are a construction site. Um, but you can see in this bathroom, again, if you move around, um, that our partners um, consolidate a brass tap there. We actually hand make these in Edwardstown. Um, have provided a lot of the brass fixtures and fittings for us. So without having the chrome plating on the um, tapware and fixtures, it's a lot more healthy. Uh, also, we've got, um, you notice in the main bedroom as I walked through um, and in here, Beacon Commercial Lighting, who is another partner on the project, has supplied the LED lighting throughout. Um, also the fans, which can switch on with the automation. Uh, once again, we've got uh, partner windows here. Um, so our, our sponsor Open Lux has given us the windows and doors in this building. Um, and this faces onto the courtyard so you can actually get airflow through here as well. Um, but also for daylighting for bedroom two, um, ventilation requirements we needed a southern courtyard. Uh, but it's an added bonus because it really breaks up the house and gives a little bit of privacy in that space um, without having to necessarily uh, mingle with the rest of the house. <laughs> You'll notice inside the house that we um, have PTH bricks as well. So they're actually made up of Golden Grove in South Australia, uh, which reduces the footprint of the brick, because um, as we know, brick is high embodied energy. Um, they've actually also supplied this brick here, which is a um, glazed brick instead of having the tiling and then it's sealed. Okay, so uh, just a reminder, we are in virtual reality as well. So um, make sure that you rotate your camera around. Um, so coming down the hallway, we've been into the master bedroom, coming down the hallway, um, when I talk about the nervous system of the house, I really mean that we've got this you know, integrated um, technology in the house that ties into the home automation, uh, the energy storage and so forth. Uh, what's fantastic about this is actually that we have um, this single penetration through the slab that actually goes into this cupboard. So let's open this up so you can give a sneak peek. This is essentially the nervous system of the house where all the data comes through, um, which is really good because it's accessible. Um, it's not hidden inside of a wall and then it comes up through bulkheads in um, the ceilings in the parts of the building which are lowered um, so that we can also have the HRV and so forth in those. Um, so the ABB system links into here, um, Smart Automation Designs has also been involved with um, MCS 
um, electrical solutions um, to incorporate this into the building. Um, and it's been heavy on the communication between these um, industry colleagues um, and us, of course, um, and the builder, builder Wilcock Constructions. Um, to make sure that we had a very integrated approach. So, um, you know, we, we hear a lot of competition out in the industry. This house is really about this communication and, and people working together, which is really good. Uh, so let's close that one. Uh, coming through the laundry area here, we actually have these doors that conceal the European laundry. Um, this is not something that we do on every single house, um, but it is a very good way of taking another unconditioned space out of your planning um, which can essentially possibly drop your rating um, in terms of actual star ratings um, and in include it in an area which is functional. Canuff have also supplied um, carbon neutral plasterboards throughout and also in the wet areas, the wet area plasterboard um, and you can also see once again the um, PTH bricks that have been made up in Golden Grove. Um, up through the ceiling we have um, the beacon commercial lighting that actually drops down a little bit. So although we wanted the volume for the performance of the house which actually increase, increases the, um, you know, the convection inside of the space and actually works really well in terms of the star rating, um, we actually need to also drop the lighting down so that we have um, more even lighting at the area that we require for um, safety through this area. Um, so these lighting um, features here look stunning and they're going to really um, enhance the space and really pick up on the natural colours that we have in a lot of these materials as well. Uh, we have all energy efficient appliances through this house as well. Let's go to the bathroom. So again we have consolidated brass tapware that have made all these handmade uh, fixtures and fittings for us that will be polished up soon. Um, we also have the um, beacon commercial lighting which you see on the wall there as well. The tiles in this house are also from Beaumont tiles that are an Australian one in the Belga range. Um, so that we're trying again to lower the impact of this house and the construction. Um, so we've got once again water efficient appliances. Um, throughout the house there's also um, solid doors as well on all bedrooms. So a lot of um, cheap housing is the hollow core. You can just hear everything through this. Um, so it gives that level of privacy. Okay, um, so in here we've got the ABB um, control centre. So again, that connects to the nervous system of the building, which is that service covered back there. Um, switches. So this is our study nook. Um, so again, lined in that um, sustainably sourced timber. Uh, which we've also got around all the windows and doors as well. Um, so you can see some of the doors here, um, they're very large, so we're able with the triple glazing to get that real large feeling that you get it in a lot of um, beautiful arch architecturally designed buildings. We wanted to make sure that we had a happy balance between um, the aesthetics plus also um, the performance in the building. That's um, very important in terms of the strategy of the house. Um, so some of these doors actually have this ability that they can tilt out and then slide. Um, you can see all the PGH bricks all the way throughout the house. They're actually a the thermal mass that helps make the house perform. Um, we also tinted the concrete dark um, and mirror floor. One of our partners has come in and done the polishing on the floor as well. Um, this is the second bedroom. So once again, we're using the thermal mass. This would potentially get a little bit of the Western light in winter um, in here, but it's gonna be very warm in, in any case in the thermal mass because the building is um, airtight and we're recovering that heat so that, that brickwork hopefully won't cool down. Um, in summer, opposite, because it's not receiving any daylight. Um, we'll keep the, the inside of this house very cool um, and hopefully the house will stay between 18 and 22 degrees or thereabouts, according to what the predicted um, heating and cooling is for the NatHERS rating. Um, we've also got the um, courtyard, which was a requirement for ventilation and air uh, daylighting for this bedroom, um, plus the additional fan overhead. Um, some people like a bit more airflow, um, so it's important to give that adaptability um, in the design also. Uh, one thing a lot of people ask about is the HRV system. So you can see, um, people think when we talk about the HRV system, which is the um, stable heat recovery ventilation unit, um, that they're going to see these big giant vents we used to 
split systems and so forth, which are very ugly, and then, you know, some people hide them behind things. Um, you know, this is such a neat, simple thing. It, it's no more um, intrusive than a smoke alarm, in fact, less so. Um, but this is actually bringing fresh, fresh air into the space, so even when this door is shut to the rest of the house. Um, people are actually getting fresh air. Here we go. Um, James Hardy has actually supplied the um, external cladding to the building. Um, so we have a fibre cement, this is just the matrix. Okay, so coming into the lounge room here, um, we did some daylighting studies early on when this house um, was runner up for the um, BDAV or Design Matters Tentasar Challenge. Um, I think that was 2018. And um, so we, we worked out how much daylighting comes into a space. It's, it's something that we do on every single job. Um, and then we can focus lighting in areas where um, it is actually needed. And therefore, we don't have these ugly, you know, down lights and so forth um, in this space. It's very, very clean, low maintenance. You know, you're not going to have to dust ceiling fixtures, <laughs> which is my pet hate. Um, and then you can see all through here, there is a channel which um, has a recessed um, LED strip as well. The, um, if you rotate the camera around, you'll see the beautiful joinery um, as designed by Sam and Tozer is actually installing. We've got them here today. They're um, doing the kitchen as well. So above me is this bulkhead that has the HRV system. So once again, you've got those little vents. Okay. Um, once again, there's a tiny little bent, so it's, it's barely noticeable, but you getting that fresh air inside of the house. Um, where, we, where I'm standing now is probably where the dining area is going to be, um, and our first webinar series, which David Spears will be coming in and having a bit of a chat to us um, about the future of South Australia and, and where we are heading, um, will be happening here, hopefully in virtual reality as well. Okay, so this is the third bedroom, um, so we've got quite a large wardrobe in this space and beautiful large um, window that's going up to our vertical gardens that we have on the outside. Um, so again you can see the tiny little um, switches from ABB, they're all going to be connected. Um, so people can actually essentially look at what this house is doing, you know the brains, what the, what the brains of this house is doing um, from their smartphones. Um, and so they'll be able to actually control things. Um, the importance of that and using this construction methodology on other building classes is that we can then start making more inclusive environments. Um, people that you know can't necessarily turn switches and knobs and things, they can actually control it through their, their devices um, and it's a much more adaptable building, which is wonderful. This is a real beacon for um, Adelaide as well. We are a progressive state, we are conservative, but we, we think and we do things right. Um, we have a lot of connection to the outside environment, so it's very important to capture that. And I really think that this house is doing that, especially with the partnerships as well. Um, the hidden parts of the walls that you can't really see, but you can see the thickness of the walls here. Um, so we have Kingspan who has provided um, the uh, external insulation on this house. Um, and we also have Climate Shore that's come in and done consulting and provided the membranes for the house um, and has also trained people on site for the air tightness to use those membranes on the building. Um, so it's a very, again, integrated approach. People that, you know, maybe not uh, commonly um, collaborating in other projects um, are very um, willing to collaborate on this project and really drive that sustainability. So we're finding a lot of these companies are really putting their, you know, their, their money where their mouth is and being involved and trying to create a much more sustainable outcome.